the development height. Let's push through the center and grab. Could simply take this, develop a bishop, attack in the wheat pawn in front of the king. And let's go for a cheapie. Okay, attacking the rook, also attacking the weak pawn in front of the king, so something has to be done. Okay, let's defend the bishop and capture. Overworking the queen, but at the moment the opponent doesn't have any pieces developed. And let's stop the knight from attacking the pawn, x ray through to the queen, and let's support the pawn and castle. He's asking a lot of questions, so let's give him some of the answers. So basically, uh, we could push there, but he's got a 2 on 1. Push onto the knight. Where does the knight go? He's still asking questions. What are you doing with the queen? So let's. Uh, do we target the rook? Because we can't take the rook anyway. Might as well just bring the queen back. So for every question there's always an answer even if it's a rubbish answer there's an answer so he's blocked off my knight he's saying what's your knight gonna do so let's see what his knight wants to do ask a question with a question okay so now we're lining up trying to face off his king area taking our queen off looking to maybe get the rook facing their um, queen also diagonal through to the pawn that's unprotected it's attacking our pawn so the answer is support the pawn lots of questions and the knights come through what is he actually um, asking here this pawn is protected by the queen are we looking to double up or are we looking to press through like we were before to actually take the pawn on C and they see this so they're actually saying no I don't think that's your solution okay fair enough um, let's attack the pawn knight could look to attack ooh yeah, bring the, bring, could come around just to but the queen is defending that c5 let's bring the rook facing the queen can't see any problems with that it's looking quite nice with his pawns on the cd might need to try and break that up oh he's broken it up himself okay so let's capture so what's the solution the, the c6 pawn is looking quite tasty but uh, he's blocking that off he's got a check on our king he's also got a check on our rook our uh, knight let's see if we want to exchange he could go for a fork I suppose our knight could also attack his uh, queen so he's moved out of the way he's moving a bit quick a bit quick and jerky our knight could block his access or well, we could develop a rook maybe the rooks come and attack the queen could get the pawn on the back just develop the knight maybe coming towards the queen king area this loose pawn that has had no protection on it throughout the game potentially oh that's a nice position for our knight you know knight jumps there and then it's on the um, c pawn and if he doesn't do anything that just moves the queen then we can go on to his rook and then we've got to check on his queen king as well if we wanted to go that far oh he's not seen it okay so we'll get the rook unless, it, unless he doesn't move his queen okay so the queen's out of the way so let's take this knight rook off the board his knight is unprotected at the moment um, he's blocked it off but we could take with the queen and the queen is still on the knight if his rook takes yep yeah, so if his rook takes we can now go for a back ranker of sorts his queen is going to come back but his queen gets taken off the board so it'll be a rook again oh uh, well two rooks against a knight okay support rook and a knight
so he's championing so we're looking to double up maybe so we can get his rook off the board and he's not wearing that so we're going to try and reduce down the amount of checks he can put on the rook so we can try and get our rook into play but it does take away the doubling aspect on the d file okay so it's, it's given us a space for our rook to squeeze through but he's looking for some magical fork Attacking the pawn, so I don't want to give stuff away for free. I'm glad I spotted that. It's nice taking your time, so his knight's down, he's attacking another pawn, so he's always asking questions all the time, but and he's resigned because our rook is just about to take his knight. Okay, so asking the questions and finding the solutions using the answer. Um, it does help in, in the processes that we're working on. Let's take a look. So we bounce through, attack the center, grabbed, grabbed. Okay, nice position again, attacking the king area. And he's simplifying by capturing. And I'm thinking, okay, well, he's not developed his pieces as best possible, but now he's asking questions. And we're making him work, but he's also making us work. He's attacking. Now he's on the defense for that moment there. There was a brief glimmer of hope for us. So now we're attacking pieces, trying to make weak areas. So there's single movements. The only thing I would say is that they had single attacks going on and the pieces weren't working together in order to create devastation.